Middleweight needs to build up these new boogeymen. Whitaker, for whatever reason, does not he's not considered a boogeyman because he's lost to the champ a couple times, right? But we know, no Adesanya, Whitaker is your guy. He is your champion. Duplessis is a very interesting case of a man who everyone keeps saying shouldn't win but just keeps winning. And this is the biggest test to date. Does it concern you at all that Robert Whitaker, and not concern you maybe in a bad way, but like Robert Whitaker seems to be taking this as a very serious challenge. He seems to not, not underestimate Duplessis at all. And I'm just like, well, if you look at the trajectory of Robert Whitaker and you look at how he's dismantled, um, let's take a look. Marvin Vittori, Kelvin Gaslam, Jared Cannonier, Darren Till, Yoel Romero twice, Jock Array. When you finish Jock Array, who does that? Like when you see his level of seriousness and you apply that against the new contender, Drikus Duplessis, does that concern you at all? I, it doesn't really concern me, Derek. I mean, uh, Robert Whitaker taking this fight seriously. I think he knows what we what you just said and the mm-hmm. fact that if it wasn't for Israel Adesanya, Bobby Knuckles would still be reigning supreme. Mm-hmm. So him being dialed in, him feeling like he has a lot to lose, I guess it could add a little extra pressure to the old mental you know, mind state of Robert Whitaker. But it, t- it tells me he's dialed in. This guy knows. I mean... He, the question really, though, is what is Robert Whitaker fighting for to really keep that draw? Or is this all a sham? Is this all just, you know, business as usual? Mm-hmm. And he's saying these things to really light that fire. I don't know. That's what we're going to see. But, I mean, the the X factor Drikas Duplessis has is he has all the momentum on his side. Mm-hmm. Do you, besides that, Derek, what do you really see Drikas Duplessis bring into this fight besides, you know, a good wrestling and some power shots? I'll tell you, there is one intangible that I have noticed from Duplessis, and you might not, it's an intangible. You might not be able to measure it, right? He has a relentlessness and a will to win that you don't really see too often, man. Even though he's huffing and puffing, he's like, my nose doesn't work. I'm not that tired. I am tired, but I'm not like deathly gassed. My nose doesn't work, so it's hard. But you'll see little moments in fights. Darren Till fight, for an example, once he starts getting peached up and he just does, ju- and it's, I call it just enough to secure the takedown when he shouldn't have gotten it. When he was fighting um, uh, Derek Brunson, right? You're over here, you're getting your head snapped back, you're getting controlled in that first round, and you know you have a relentlessness that's going to be able to sway the fight. You hit him with a one little clean hook or whatnot right in the last three seconds before the bell, and that relentlessness comes out. He has a knack for winning fights, and that's sometimes all you need. The question turns into is that enough to beat a robert whitaker and like nine and a half maybe 9.98 out of 10 times like no that's not enough to beat robert whitaker how does this fight differ between uh marvin vittori's fight against robert whitaker how is this much of a different matchup hmm storyline that's how derek uh the champ the champ wants uh is uh, drikas duplessis to come and show him something so he can get that whooping too and uh robert whitaker i think is going to put up on show i mean how technically x is and knows how it's different i think uh drikas duplessis is a little faster a little smoother in the combo he's not as bricky he's not as blo- blocky so he's going to have these mm-hmm. moments where he is going to be fluid but again, Bobby Knuckles, and, and I agree with you, Drake Zuplessi, he has that dog in him to bite down on the mouthpiece and say, come get some. But against Bobby Knuckles, you're going to eat a, a right hand and then a head kick, and you're going to be seeing some stars, man. We know what, we know the danger that Rob, uh, Robert Whitaker presents. I'm just going to say this, man. If there's one thing that I'm a little, I don't know why I'm extra worried in this fight, but I'm really worried about a Drake Zuplessi left head kick. I'm really worried about that. I don't know why. Robert Whitaker has this knack, depending on who he's fighting, right? He has this knack to dip off to the right, dip off, dip off. And they'll call it in the fight. And they're like, he needs to be careful about that. And he just, he stays out the way. He moves just enough. I'm just a little worried about that head kick. Aside from that, I think Whitaker should be better in all areas. Um, I think he's deserving of the minus 380 uh, favorite right here. But let's answer that question that we posed earlier. Let's like actually talk about it real quick. What exactly is Bobby Knuckles fighting for? Ooh, Derek. Um... Man, I'm glad. I wish you would have taken it because that's why I proposed it earlier. Because <laughs> nothing really. He doesn't. He doesn't have much to win from this fight. He has a lot to lose, though. And I think right now he's kind of fighting for that. Just what some would call hometown pride. Some dude, some big dude shows up in your town. And you're like, oh, I'm messing this cat up. Like he ain't taking what's mine. You don't have anything behind you. You don't have any like nothing really going for it besides just you're down to scrap. This guy's here and paycheck's getting a little light. So you know what? Let's put it together. Do you see anything else? 
I think he is fighting for something here, man. And I know it's not to the real alphas out there. I know they're going to be like, this is goofy. Who would fight for that? But I think he's fighting for number two. And I think number two is a lot better than number five. And it's a lot better than number 10. <laughs> it's a lot better than unranked. I'll tell you that much. So you have to fight for something. And if you're going to be that number two guy, listen, man, that's top two in the world. I would argue it's 1A and 1B. Now that Paeda is out of the scenario, it's Adesanya and Whitaker. That's it right there, man. You guys are part of that one, one right there. But aside from that, I can see how it can be a little difficult to find motivation for this matchup. We just hope that that doesn't come to bite us in terms of like wagering and, and you know what I mean, betting on a fight. But with that being said, I don't know, man. Is it disrespectful to, to think that Whitaker could really get that plus 135 TKO? Is that disrespect to Drikas Duplessis, given that Robert Whitaker has not finished a fight, man, since 2019? He has not finished a fight since 2019. Uh, call me crazy, though, Derek. I feel like with the heat Drikas Duplessis is bringing on, with the new nose job, he's breathing better. He's going to come and try to put on a show. And what did I say before in the, the fight earlier? It's when you're going for the knockout, you're not going to win a decision, but when you're going for the knockouts... That's when you leave yourself open and you have a, a sniper like Robert Whitaker can be with a lot of power behind his punches. You see lights out. I was gonna go to, I was gonna go TKO. So I don't think it's that I hope it's not that disrespectful. And hopefully it doesn't light a fire under Drikas Duplessis when people are choosing that. But I'm thinking TKO for me personally, Derek. And I'm going round two. Okay. That's fair. TKO round two. I don't know why I'm so conflicted about this. And sometimes that's why I try not to look at the odds before I talk about this. But when you look at the odds, it sways you in a couple different directions. You have to be honest. Mm -hmm. I might sound like a crazy guy right here. I know. I'm going to take a risk. I don't care. I'm going to go Robert Whitaker. Give me a submission. Give me a submission win by Bobby Knuckles, bro. People think that Whitaker can't wrestle. And I can see Drikas Duplessis trying to pull out the trump card and be like, oh, I'm going to wrestle with you, bro. Mm -hmm. You fall into the wrong spot, get your back taken, get choked out, arm triangled, whatever. Give me a Whitaker submission, man. I'm feeling frisky here. You know what I'm saying? Am I crazy, AJ? I like it, Derek. I like it. I'm telling you, man, when <laughs> yeah. there's stuff like this, when they're bringing all the stars together, there's magic in the air, mm -hmm. it's going to strike at some point. And then it comes back as a decision and I look dumb. But all right, <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. All right, bro. Let's